What we have here is the sort of clock that you would have found in the radio operator's room in a large ocean-going vessel in the middle of the 20th century. The sort of sized ship that would be travelling long distances, perhaps across the Atlantic or Pacific, and the kind of distance that would mean the need to change time on clocks around the ship during that journey. And the sized ship that might have perhaps dozens, even a hundred different dials, it would be very inefficient to have crew members individually adjusting lots of dials, going up ladders and so forth. You need a centralised system, and that's what this clock provides. The mechanism to the left counts out half-minute intervals and sends out electronic pulses to all of the dials around the ship, which are connected in series, like this one. But when you need to change times because you're changing time zone, you might do it in the middle of the night, but you want to make the adjustment in one go. The right-hand part of the mechanism allows us to do that. So, for example, say we just want to add a couple of minutes, we dial that up on this dial, press advance, and all of the adjustment is made in one. If we're going in the other direction, well, we can't turn the hands backwards, but what we can do is, again, dial up a certain amount of time, and then all of the clocks in the network will be taken out of series. The clock on the left will count out the amount of time necessary, and then put all the clocks back into the network so they advance again. It's a very efficient system.